Hello all, Zyzerus here, just doing my final thoughts on this whole um, shenanigans that I've been up to regarding Miss Marvel um, Miss Marvel Aggression versus Justice and Sol for solo play. Um, I actually think they were both pretty solid. Uh, just the Justice deck is the one that I built myself. I don't think it's as refined as Drew's um, aggression deck that he has here. And um, I think they it, it was able to it was able to handle the threat. Um, I was a little surprised by how much threat it's able to handle, considering there's basically nothing in here that causes it to, causes it to be able to handle more. Besides chase them down, obviously. Um, but chase them down, Miss Marvel aggression. I think that's always going to be in there. Um, yeah, so. I was a little surprised at how much for it that was able to handle, um, but the Justice deck similarly was able to handle all of those Masters of Evil in the, that last game. That was a lot, a lot of Masters of Evil. Um, I think I ended up killing every single one once and Melter a second time. That's a lot of damage to put on to um, minions, but you need to obviously to keep it under control. Uh, so between the two, I still think Justice uh, Justice is my preferred. Um, it was just really able to handle that threat, and even when that side scheme got up um, on that final turn, like we were one threat away, and that side scheme got up to seven with the acceleration token, the Masters of Evil one, and I just cleared it because it was there and could trigger follow it off of it. That was very strong. Um, and the aggression obviously was able to handle the minions a lot better, like the Justice did get stuck with some of those Masters of Evil, but I, having played aggression previously, I've seen situations where you just can't clear the threat. I obviously uh, was able to during the two games that I played. Um, maybe it's a playstyle thing at the time. Uh, I've obviously a lot more experience with Miss Marvel than I was even like a day ago now. Um, that said, Drew's deck looks great. Um, I would honestly suggest if you're looking to play Aggression Miss Marvel prior to the Thor pack coming out, because Thor breaks this, in, uh, breaks this entirely down. We we don't know what's in there. It could be could be some some really good cards um, for Miss Marvel. We actually don't know many of the Aggression cards at all, um, and it's only like two packs away. It's so the next time we get hero cards, so uh, possibly might uh, this might not be that all that useful by that point. But the at the moment, aggression, I reckon if you're going to play aggression, uh, going to play Miss Marvel aggression, probably buy this list. Give it a go, play it a bit, maybe do some tweaks based off what you think. I still think the Avengers Mansions is way too expensive. Um, I know that I, I'm pretty sure I got it in down in both games, but it Claw and Rhino aren't particularly difficult encounters. Um, Risky Business is probably at, uh, down there as well as the easier encounters, as opposed to Mutagen and Ultron. Um, but it does give you something to play when you're on your alter ego side which can be a problem, but it's also very expensive, so um, and I don't think in any of the games I, I was able to play Helicarrier, in, which is in both decks, despite the fact it's in both decks and it's only cost three compared to the Avengers Mansions 4, so 
um, that was because I just didn't have the money at any point that I needed. Um, I'm still this interrogation room. I still think should come out. Um, I think should come out of this deck. This deck is not as well refined as the as Drew's one. I could probably get a little bit more bang for my buck. Um, and I think they're both. They're, I think they're both viable. I think they're both viable for solo play at the moment. Um, with aggression being a little bit more swingy, justice being um, very much more in control. Although, I suppose that depends what you're up against. Minions, the aggression, the aggression player, aggression solo player is going to be able to handle it better. So maybe mutagen formula, you probably actually is is probably easier with the aggression player. Um, although that does have a lot of side schemes. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, I will end with on the point that I am honestly surprised. Um, I did not expect to come out. Uh, come out even with um, like a tested aggression deck. I wasn't expecting to come out of this with aggression. Uh, like feeling good about aggression, Miss Marvel in solo play. I think it's a. Um, I always thought it was a great in multiplayer. I just didn't think it would. Um, hold up uh, to the needs of solo because I just didn't think it would have the the threat capacity. But yeah, I managed it. So definitely up there. Um, and the justice stuff, the justice stuff, obviously it can handle the minions. I already knew that. It's, it's gone. I've run it for everything before. Um, I'm just a little surprised that uh, they were both they both came out relatively unscathed. Um, I never felt like one of the I didn't feel like any of those games were much better on one side than on the other. One side being like on justice or the aggression side. I, I feel like the uh, maybe the claw claw was probably a bit easier with um, with justice, but part of that would be because I'm fairly certain fairly certain I got the um, Shadows of the Past. Fairly certain I'll remember that, getting Shadows of the Past on Claw. So, like, that's obviously going to make a big difference, particularly with the giant robot coming out and you have to deal with it. Which, aggression was able to. That may actually have been a deal breaker for justice um, but it's generally it's hard not to write off a loss after it after shadows of the past because that is a very powerful card and then miss marvel's nemesis set in particular is very strong anyway um yeah both seemed good uh the aggression deck that Drew's got is very, yeah, very fun, very, uh, very soloable. My Justice one still needs some work, but it's definitely capable of handling anything that you throw at it. So, yeah, that's that. That was my final thoughts on this particular experiment. Um, if you found it interesting, let me know uh, in the comments below. Uh, I it, don't know how often I would do a, a video like this. It's just it seemed good with the Miss Marvel um, see, seeing a lot of talk between two particular aspects, and a lot of talk about how she's terrible in solo play, uh, which is what I am most experienced in. Figured it was about time I um, just weigh in on it. But yeah, uh, that's where we're at with this. So I hope you've enjoyed, have a nice day, and I shall see you next time.